it's Spanish town, a prison noble rap. And some call it Spanish town, a prison noble rap. While the daughter them whining, the rude boy them tripping. Ooh, hey, what a cool and deadly. And in the ear that a Spanish town, my bond, that I where me come from. From me looking at my face, you see a de la vegan. Well, I say come out some glazer and chief federation. Strictly roots and culture play for nice station. This is um, the Laka Market out here on the highways and fibers of Jamaica trying to teach you people your true nationality according to the Bible. Okay? Your nationality is not determined by the color of your skin. Your nationality is not determined by where you're born. Okay? It doesn't matter where you're born, your, your nationality is determined by who your forefathers are. Okay? And you people, your history has been hidden from you for a reason. Well, the reason why you don't know where you were prior to you being in Africa, but the reason why you call yourself Negroes, African, West Indian, all these different names that the white man gave you, okay, there's a reason because it's in the Bible that you people would lose your nationality, okay? The so first and foremost, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh and his son's name who is Yahweh Shai, okay? Let me just get this out there quickly. Who the world called Jesus Christ was not a white man, okay? You need to get this. If you got this image in your house, okay? You have a curse in your house, okay? The, Bi the Bible clearly tells you that who the world called Jesus Christ was a black man. And you people have this white man up in your yard thinking you're gonna get blessings from it. But the Bible clearly tells you that who the world called Jesus Christ was black. Okay, but as I said already, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yamasai, that's his name in the Hebrew. Big up and respect to the man them who I've learned from, from the elders on down, and all the various camps I've learned from. Okay, and shalawah, pieces, and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, right, this scripture is called, um, this is Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, cry aloud, spear not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So according to the Bible, I'm supposed to come out here and show you people where you're going wrong. Okay? Your pastors in your churches are teaching you that the laws are done away with. But the reason why you were brought over here on cargo slave ships is because you broke the laws of God. When you're continually breaking the laws of God now, that's why you people are constantly under curses. Okay? Here are some of the curses that you people are under, okay? The first curse that you may know, you might think, oh, we're just an unlucky bunch of people. That's why we went into slavery. But the Chinese man didn't go into slavery. The Indian man didn't go into slavery. The white man didn't go into slavery. You people are thinking, well, you should be thinking, well, why did we go into slavery? And the Indian man will own the shops there, but the Chinese man, why is it that he didn't go into slavery? The reason being, it was prophesied in the Bible, in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, that you so-called black people would go into cargo slave ships and be sold to your enemy. It's in the Bible, okay? And the fact that it's in the Bible shows you who you are. You're 
not know West Indian. You don't know Jamaican. The word Jamaica was given to this land by the Arawak Indians. And the word Yamaka, which is what we translate today to be Jamaica, simply means land of wood and water. Yamaka. Yeah. So if you're going around calling yourself a Jamaican, you're calling yourself land of wood and water. That's what you're calling yourself. Yamaka. That's how stupid you people are. If you're going around saying that you're black, black is not a nationality. Who told you that? There's no such thing as a black man. Okay? There's no such thing as that. The Heavenly Father's got a name for you. He gave you a name, okay? And the name that he gave you was Israelites. You are the sons and daughters of Jacob. Your true nationality is an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. This is what the white man calls you, West Indian. And this is what the Lord calls you, Benjamin. That is your true biblical nationality, okay? You are the same people that went through the Red Sea with Moses. You're the same people that rebelled against him. You're the same people that rebelled against who the world called Jesus Christ. A lot of you people were the ones that wanted him to be put on the cross. That's why you're stuck here in Jamaica and you ain't leaving here until the Lord come back. You're going to be constantly under curses until the Lord come back, all right? I'm not going to read my Bible for this one because it's written right here, okay? This is one of the curses that you people are under, okay? It says here, The man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Here it is. You go up the north coast, you got all these rich white folks up there, okay, with loads of money. You people would rather steal and kill your own people than the people that are up the road with the money that they may offer you from slavery. How stupid is that? You're supposed to be robbing the people that robbed you. You're not supposed to be robbing each other. But as I said, these are curses that came upon you. Here's another curse. It says, uh, The Messiah shall bring you into Egypt again with ships, and there you shall be sold to your enemy. It is a biblical fact, it is a historical fact that you so-called Negroes got to Jamaica on cargo slave ships and you were sold to the white man. This is in the Bible. Okay? But I'll read this scripture again. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, cry aloud, spare not. So the Bible is telling me to cry aloud and not spare the feelings of any of you people. If you're a, a, a Rasta man, according to the Bible, I'm supposed to tell you that you're not supposed to have no locks. If you're walking along the road with a bag full of pork, According to the Bible, you're not supposed to be eating pork. You're not supposed to be going anywhere near pork. Because you are holy people unto God. You're not supposed to be eating that rubbish. Okay? That's why a lot of you die from illnesses. And you wonder why. Okay? It says, cry aloud, fear not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions. What's the number one transgression for you people? You have the white man up as Jesus Christ. That's the first... Wait, that's the first thing you lot are doing wrong. Okay? You believe that the white man is God? Well, no, if, if, if a white man was to walk down the street now, you'd all run up to him and try and get money from him. But at the end of the day, you're above him. The only reason why you people are lower than him at the moment is because the Lord put you there as a punishment. Okay? You people are going to rule this earth next. This is a true image of the Heavenly Father's Son. It's in the Bible, clearly. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it because a lot, a lot of you people don't like to read. So I'm going to read it for you. This is the color of Jesus Christ in the Bible, if you didn't know. Revelations 1 and 14, and it says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So, who the world called Jesus Christ has been described in the Bible as having a garment down to the foot, similar to the garment that I'm wearing here, similar to the garment that you see on here, okay? These are the garments that you're supposed to be wearing. The Bible clearly tells you that you're supposed to have a border of blue on the garment and fringes. 
to remind you of the laws and the covenant that you made with God. But you people walk around with jerk jeans. You just fuss me doing that. You fuss me wearing these clothes. I'm going to bring out the Bible. But it's in Numbers 15 and 38. It tells you what you're supposed to be wearing and what you're not supposed to be wearing. Okay? Anyway, it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. The only people on the earth that have got woolly hair are you Negroes. So it says that Jesus Christ's hair on his head and on his face was white and woolly. Okay? And it goes on to say, and his eyes were the flame of fire. The reason why the Bible says his eyes were the flame of fire is because he drank wine. A lot of you churches teach that you can't drink wine. In order for you to go to the Passover, you have to drink wine. So there's nothing wrong with drinking wine. There's nothing wrong with drinking strong drink. If you know anything about the Bible, you'll know that Noah, when Noah came off the ark, he got drunk. And one of his sons saw him naked, and the Lord put a curse on that son. But he didn't put a curse on Noah for being drunk, so there's nothing wrong with being drunk if you're in your house. You can't walk up and down on the street drunk and fall over and things like that. Don't say the Isaiah, what do you mean Isaiah? I, Isaiah 5, 29 and 22, tell you again, say it in black. Oh, El Diablo means um, the devil. Yeah? El, the, the, the word devil means deceiver. The, the, it doesn't mean somebody down there with a pitchfork. That all the word devil means is a deceiver, someone that will deceive you. Okay, let me read all about his colour. It says, and his um, his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So if you look at the picture, you'll see that the feet of who the Lord called Jesus Christ, it says that they were like brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Okay? So there's no way on hell that Jesus Christ could be a cracker. A white man. Impossible. No, we're finding Revelation 1 and 13 tells you the colour of Jesus Christ. Okay? So we're saying all that glorious king. Show you everything, the glorious king. This whole book is your history. What about the glorious king? What about the glory of kings? Let me ask you a question. You seem to you seem to be jumping around a bit. What's your nationality? My nationality. Yeah. Then who's they? But African. No. African no, you're not an African. No. The word Africa was given to that land by a white man called Leo Scipius Africanus, who conquered a man called Hannibal, who was a black man, and named the land after himself. So if you're calling yourself an African, you're naming yourself after a white man. So you're not no damn African. You're not a black man neither. You are an Israelite, a son of Jacob from the tribe of Benjamin. You are God's chosen people, and the reason why you're in Jamaica poor and, and under poverty is because you're under curses, because you didn't follow God's law. You people made a covenant with God. I'm gonna read the covenant that you people made, man. I'm gonna read the covenant that you people made with the Most High God, and you didn't follow that covenant. And part of the covenant, part of, the, part of what he said to you was, if you do what he says, you will be the top nation on the earth. The top nation on the earth, you wouldn't have to work. And he said, if you don't do what I tell you to do, I'm going to make you the lowest nation on the earth. That's why you've got to go to the Chinese man and the Indian man for everything. Right? I'm going to read to you the covenant that you made with the Most High God. This is Exodus 24 and 6. And it says, And Moses took half of the blood and put it in a basin, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people. And they said, so you people said to Moses, all that the Lord has said, we will do and be obedient. Okay? But we didn't be obedient. So I'm going to read the verses out here. This is Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28 and... I'll start at the top. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments which I command thee this day. The Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So if you follow God's laws, you won't be in poverty. Oh, you know that the, uh, black people are no, we're, we're, we're going wrong again. We're not black people. 
There's no such thing as black people. How do I know? How do I know, right? Okay. okay. No, listen, I'm brown. Okay? But my colour does not make up my nationality. What's, what are you asking me? Right. Okay, but, but what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, if your daughter, if your grandson asked you, or your daughter asked you, tell me how you know we're Israelites. How, what would you, how would you ask them? How would you prove that? Well, the thing is, sister, let me say this. Let, let, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. According to the Bible, in First Thessalonians five and twenty-one, it says, "Prove all things." Okay. So I'm telling you the same thing that you're saying, in that we're Israelites. But I can prove it to you with the Bible. You know what? You know what? The Lord, 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 the Lord is not dealing with these women. You know. You know why? She came up here with some form of education, and then she's walking away saying she's going to keep it to herself. Right? So she is absolutely no good to you people. Okay? No, you're wrong, sir. No, no, you're wrong. Israel is a part of Africa. No. One second. Let me read the scripture to you to prove to you who we are. So but, 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 no, but the, the topic, the topic of the topic, no, hold on, but the topic, the topic, the topic of, listen, 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 look, look, listen, 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 the topic of the conversation is, what is your nationality, right, and the woman was right by saying that we're Israelites, okay, but I asked her to, to, to qualify that by telling me, how you know this, and she said, oh, me know, but now I better take nobody, now I walk up. Right? Because she's an idiot. Ignorant. No, no, idiot. no. That's she has no knowledge. No, no idiot. Ignorant. The Bible says that she's got no knowledge. No, but you call her an idiot. I ain't supposed to call her a well, fool. I can call her whatever I like, brother. If you buy every same as you call people a fool or an idiot. Yeah, but the Bible person. also says that you can, you, you can curse people out. If they're going off, you can curse them out. Call them an idiot like okay. a fool. But anyway, let's not change the subject. This is Romans. Romans 8 and 16. Yeah? I choose. And it says. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That's the thing about these Jamaicans, you know. They like to talk amongst themselves. Right, but, 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 but the point, brother, is, do you know your nationality? You do? Okay, what is your nationality? Yeah. Did, 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 I, did, did I not just ask you if you knew your nationality? You said you nodded your head like you do. Oh, you don't. Yeah, I Jamaica, I Jamaica. Jamaica was named by the Arawak Indians and it means land of wood and water. No, 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 no. Your nationality is determined by your fathers, brother. Let me read it to you out of the Bible. No, no. This is Numbers. One. Hold on. This is Numbers 1 and 18. And I, I, I've listened to you, but I'm about to read the Bible now. So, 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 so you need to let me read the Bible for the, for the, for the, for the, for the edification of the people that are standing right here. Okay? Let me say something to you. According to the Bible, you're supposed to have a beard. A beard. You're not supposed to trim off your beard. That's where the rusters are going off, are, are going, are, are right in, the, in what they're doing. You're not supposed to trim your beard. I understand that, but they are correct in having a truth. You do. You do. That also. Yeah, but, 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 but in order to show your faith, you have to have words, right? Right? The word says you doing stuff that proves that you are have faith. One of the laws of God is for you to have a beard on your face. I know what it says, brother. I don't know what you have about it. We're not talking about rusters here. No, 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 you're changing the topic. This is Leviticus 19 and 27. It says, oh, let me start at 26. Uh, Lord, you, 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 you give up. 
Yeah, don't eat liver. Eat pork. Oh, very good. Anyway, it says here, Leviticus 20, 19 and 26. It says, you shall not eat anything but the blood. Neither shall you use enchantment nor observe times. When it says eat anything but the blood, it's talking about liver. When it's talking about use enchantment nor observe times, you people, when you go to the older people, you're not supposed to be doing that. You people, I said. No, I'm speaking generally, brother. Yeah, uh, okay, people, you people. Okay. But what I'm trying to say, you know, you know people that you know people that go to older men. So you say people right. you people are talking like they are No, 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 no. You 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 the Bible it, 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 it says if the shoe fit raise it, brother. So if you don't pretend to you, if you don't pretend to you, ignore it. Okay? By the way, it says was it Leviticus 19? It says in Leviticus 19 and 27, it says, You shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. So you've got no beard. So you're breaking the laws of God right now. But this is a law of God. The book of Leviticus is a law of God, brother. Okay. There's another one. There's another one. It says, You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. No put any marks upon you. I'm reading the book of Leviticus, brother. No, it says you shall not mar the corners. What do you listen? It says you can't mar the corners. No, you said we should have a beard. Yes, that's right. You shave yours, no change. No, I don't shave mine. I don't mar the corners of my beard, no. I trim it. Yeah, suppose it's this high, I trim it down. So all this away from here, you know, mar it from it. Look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you have none. No, I have got none. Right. I'm still a child of God. Right, what it doesn't it? change me as a no, 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 Let me ask you a question because you seem to be what? What is the correct name of Jesus? The correct name of Jesus. The correct name of Jesus is Yahweh Shai. Well, right, but let me explain something to you. Do you have a Hebrew name? That's his Hebrew name. Good. You did have a Hebrew name, right? Okay. Is there is there what what are, what are the vowels in Hebrew? The vowels. Why? No, that's not a vowel. No, no, no. A and A uh, and I are the only vowels in Hebrew. So his name can't be Yahshua. Because there's no you in Hebrew. You understand? You understand that, though, brother? No, but you have to tell him No, look, there are 22 letters in the Hebrew al alphabet. And none of them start. They know you in Hebrew alphabet? No! There's no J. There's no J. There's no J. No, no, I don't have to show you, no. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I don't have to show you. You can do the research yourself. There is no U sound in Hebrew. It's either A or I. So there's no Yahshua. Yeah, how was Shai is his name? Okay. Let me see if I put it on a sign here. So I put it in Hebrew on the side. Not here, no. But I have the, the name of the Lord, the name of who the world called Jesus Christ on a sign. On the so when last year I come, where are you? Going, you're going back up to Brixton. Brixton? Yeah. <laughs> so you saw me in Brixton, yeah? Big man, know you. Long time I know you. You don't do all Muslim. You don't study Muslim as well. No, you never, you never study no Muslim, sir. You never, you never talk about no, Muslim. No, no, no. We have, we have person here, please. You're twin brother, then. I'm person here, please. Okay. Anyway, okay, let's go back to the nationality thing. Okay. Because. The woman was saying, how do I know that we are Hebrew Israelites? Okay. This is Jeremiah, okay, 14 and 2. Okay. Jeremiah 14 and 2 says, where is it? I'm still saying Israel No. What? At one point, at one point, the whole earth was connected together. So the whole earth is actually connected. At one point, the earth was one big mass. So is the whole earth? India was China. Right, right. So, 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 
Yes, sir. No, everything was joined onto each other. Right, but right. what I'm saying, he, um, he did one shine onto um, Africa all This is Jeremiah 14 and, and 2. Really okay. Clear. It says, Do the morning and the gates thereof languish, they are black onto the ground. Okay. So according to the Bible, the real Jews are black. Okay. When you look at the word, there's some, there's some Hebrew here. I know. It says, Jeremiah 14. It says, Do the morning and the gates thereof languish, they are black onto the ground. The word black in Hebrew is Padam. Padam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Padam. 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 Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? Listen now. Where, 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 where are all races originated from? Where does all races originate from? Well, the Bible says we all come what from Adam. We're not talking about the Bible. What you said? We know about the Bible. Adam is a black man. Listen what we are saying. Yeah, go on. What I'm saying here. Yeah. All races, Chinese, yeah. Indian, whatever. Yeah. Where do you think they all originate from? When you say originate from, it's about uh, 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 yeah. the, the, the landmass they originate from. Yeah. Okay. They all originate. Okay. No, no, no. It's not Africa, brother. You wanna bet? You wanna <laughs> I knew bet? You were, I, every race, I, I knew every you were race, say every race come from black man. No, you, every race is from black around. man. This is Galatians 4 and 26. Yeah, but Galatians, every race is from black man. Every no, race is no, no, from Africa, black was, man. But that wasn't what you asked me. What do you mean? But that's what I asked you. No, you didn't ask me that. I said, where does our race origin from? Right. Originally and from. Are you you were supposed to tell me, say, black people, Africa, say, so you're supposed to tell me. Africa, black people are not the same. One's a place, on. one's listen a people. Me. Listen to me, I said, right. you should have said. No, I don't forgot to tell me what I should have said. come from Africa, African, every race. The Chinese come from the African, man. This is Galatians 4 and 26. Why you I'm going to read it out of the Bible. One second, one second, one second, one second, sister. One second, one second, one second. One second. It's, it clearly says, sister, the real, the real image of Jesus Christ according to the Bible. Okay? But anyway, this is for you, brother. Galatians 4 and 26. And it says, But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. What is that saying? Listen, listen. What is that, what is that saying? What is that saying is that the land of Eden, where man was put, the Garden of Eden, was not located in Africa, it was located in Israel. No, it's not. Part of Africa. No, it's not a part of Africa. 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 Who's a, who's a forefather of the white people? The forefather of the white people. Yeah. Let me say something to you. Did you know that the white people and you are more closely related than any other nation on the earth? Okay. Do you know that in Genesis it talks about Jacob and Esau? Okay. You come from Jacob. He comes from Esau. Came out red. White man isn't white. He's red. When you think about it, your hat is white. He's red. He, 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 he was created. He was black. Listen, we are brown people. Exactly. But what I'm saying to you, he was created on the earth to be opposed to you, the opposite to you. That's why he wants to bring laws to your country where Batman can get married and all sorts of things like that. And he's slowly but surely changing your people. Trying to. But I was changing them because they were going to have a tail and you have placed them full of battle, boy. Yes, I know that. There was a time when that could never happen. There was a time when, you know, a lot of the men that were walking around with them drawers. I'm sure. You know that come from? You see, British people. Back in the early days, a man couldn't walk down the road in Jamaica with his pants showing. Okay? So slowly and surely, the white man is changing you people. And it's in here. This is Proverbs. Proverbs 12. This is not the Bible. This is Proverbs 12. Let me 
Freedom out it I'm out here to bring out the Bible. No, I'm out here to have a conversation with you, Did the Bible mention about Batman? Yes, it does. Right. So you thought like say, well, it, it, it just started. No, I'm telling you that the, that the white people yeah. and their society yeah. is slowly changing the whole world. They're trying. I'm telling you that they're trying. Look, they're making. They're gonna make it right, so that they're not gonna. They're not gonna give you certain nannies to help your country develop. Unless you bring in them, 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 them Batman laws. Okay. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce Golden, Bruce Golden was against it. But we don't know about, but, 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 but there's certain people that's going to come into government that's going to uh, allow that crap to happen, man. One day, you're gonna, one day you're going to see a Batman on the road and you're going to try to lick him and they're going to lock you up. They're going to lock, they're going to lock you up. No, man, No, you know, you know what I say. No, what if you, see two, if, you see, if you see two men walking on the road, yeah. on your hand, I'm going right? to try to hurt them in other words. Yes. Mm -hmm. They will lock you up. They will lock me up. Yeah. But what business is it but they, but listen. It's not my business. Listen. Why would I want to listen, go through them business? Yeah, I know it's your problem. you got a problem, you know. No, it's Let me not tell you something. Have you got children? Have you got children? Have you got children? Have you got children, brother? Even if I said, I don't know it's wrong. I can't do anything. It's not my business. If everybody feel like you, the place will be full of Batman. This is Proverbs. This is Proverbs 12 and 26. It says the righteous, which are the Israelites, is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Yeah, man, I'm just saying. Again, it says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. So we're more excellent than the white man. Yeah? We, know, sir, we, we know to cook our food and get the blood out of it. He don't know about that. He don't chop on the fire, watch the blood come out of it. still it. So we are righteous people. Right, right, right. right, right. And, and for, let me ask a question. I would never strike a black man in front of my business. Well, well, well. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Let's see what the Bible says about that. don't come to me with it. Simple as that. The Bible talk about when we need to come and send out all of the men there. Right? I can't remember if it's in the arms, Samuel or Kings, it's in the Right, this is Leviticus 20 and 30. This is what the Heavenly Father said to do. Okay? And trust me, if the Heavenly Father tell you, don't, don't me no question but I'm, I'm explaining something to you. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what Bible is in a minute. One second. In a minute. Let me read this first. You can walk on it but you can still hear me when I talk. No, you walk on the road. Leviticus 20 and 13 says, if a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Yes, abomination. Yes, we know that. They shall surely be put to death. Yes, by who? The Lord ain't gonna come down here and put nobody to death. So who's gonna put them to death? Back in the ancient days, brother. That was brother. We would have to administer the law of God. Just like the police walk up and down the street yes, and administer the law. We would have to administer the law. Right. Okay. We're talking about no. What can we do? Right. Yes. yes, I know that. As long as the white man's on earth, your hands are tied. Okay? When we get rid of him, when we get rid of him, because we're going to get rid of him, you know, the Bible says we're going to get rid of him altogether, you know. When we get rid of him, we will add sorts and we will administer the law. Nobody, if I chop up your head now for being a batty man, nobody will knock me up. That's how it's going to be when the Heavenly Father brings his son back. The laws of the laws of God are gonna be admitted on his earth. You say enough already now. I like all you have your head covered, that's a very good thing. So according to the Bible, there's gonna be I'm asking According to the Bible, there's not gonna be no Edomites, which are descendants of Esau, which are mainly white people. There's gonna be none of them left on the earth. What Bible is that? King James Bible. Yeah. King James, this was translated by scholars. And by the way, King James was a black man. Did you know that? Yeah, I'm telling you, yeah. yeah. King James was a black man. Yeah? 
ignorant. I'm ignorant of what? Every time I'm about something get aggressive. I'm not getting aggressive. Move, but, but you know what? A lion, a lion, a lion moves, and, yeah, and you don't take no like talk from nobody in the jungle. Yeah. Right? We are lions, brother. No, we are lions. But you, right. you talk about saying, um, not what? James, look at James. That James was like a black man. I never saw that. No, because if you look here, teaching or preaching, whatever you make fun. Yes. He has asked many questions. Right. And even when I'm answering the questions, he's asking more. Yeah, and you don't give us You understand time. what I'm trying to say? You kept on talking, you don't give us the time now. I'll give you a whole heap of time. Let me ask one question. Before I ask you a question, brother, are you a Muslim? No. Oh, yeah. carry on, brother. Now, I'm going to say I think you belong to a Hebrew Israelite. Yes. Are you a Hebrew Israelite? Nuwabian. Nuwabian. Yes. What does that mean? You don't know. I'm asking you what it means, brother. You don't, you don't. I've uh, heard of it before. What does it mean? One of right knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Oh, okay, okay. Where did your line go back to? Did it go back to Ham? You know, Noah has three sons, right? Yeah, yeah. Which line do your, which line do you go back to? Is it Ham, Shem, Jacek? Which one do you go back to? Because the New Orleans believe that they go back to Ham. Okay. Which is where Nimrod comes from. And Haile Selassie, they go back to Ham. The Israelites don't go back to Ham, we go back to Shem. Okay? So if you're a New Orleans, and you are really a New Orleans, what I'm teaching out here ain't for you. According to the Bible, you're going into slavery. Why what? According to the Bible, if you're not an Israelite, if you're not one of these people on this side, when we rule the earth, we're going to put all nations under us. This lady, if she's an evil Israelite, she won't have to work. She'll have people working for her. We will all be excellently rich. None of us will be poor. And without these people, these Chinese people that are robbing you, feeding you junk food every day, and these Indian people that are sending our women here, that, the, that, that, their, that their people back in India are sacrificing to them. Recently I wore some hair extensions mm -hmm. and, um, and this is the hair and basically I've been told that it came from Chennai mm -hmm. and I just wanted to know if you could help me narrow it down. Okay, now for starters is whether it's Remy or non Remy. Remy is the t jargon uh -huh. used by the industry uh -huh. to call the hair which is head and the tail portion are kept intact. It is from the temple. It's from its temple hair? Yes. Okay. My extensions were the same type of hair that was being processed in this factory. These ponytails had all been sacrificed at Hindu temples in a practice called tonsuring. It's cutting it off, right? Yeah. 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 Shaving off. Shaving off. Huh? Not cutting off, shaving off. <laughs> shaving off. What? Are you yes. serious? Yes, not cutting off. What you, what's that? I don't get it. Okay, it's shaved off the hair. The hair. It, so That's what is called tonsuring. Yeah, they're all bald. Yeah. Obviously, I've found out how um, you know important and cherished hair is. So yeah. that's just really surprising that they actually shave off their hair. The highest form is to sacrifice beauty. Oh, okay. 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 So when everybody shaves their hair, everybody looks alike. Oh, okay. Mostly. Yes. And that's one of the reasons why sacrificing beauty is considered as the highest. When it's given to a temple, they mm -hmm. never sell it. Even the poorest of the poor never sell it. So how do, do they benefit? Is it more because of the religious beliefs they have? Yes. It's like um, something you give back to God. 
Okay, wow. Oh, that's it looks gorgeous. Good. It looks good on her hair. Yes, it looks fantastic. Okay. Why is she... Okay. Well, I know that. I know that. Ah, you see? I know that. You can't keep the laws 100%. Okay? It's impossible to keep the laws 100%. Because you can't... Without the second, you can't put two fabrics together. So we have to have our own factories to follow the laws of God 100%. Okay? Because it's impossible to do that. But the Bible doesn't say that you got to try. Okay? Your best to try. Okay? Your best to try. Okay? Your best to try. Okay? But the Bible does say that you've got to try your best to follow the laws of God. You understand? That one law in the God Bible says that a woman should dress with modest apparel. Do you know what modest apparel is? You see, listen. Modest apparel means that you should cover up yourself. Okay? And I don't think many of our women know that one. No, you can't save yourself. You have to save yourself. Are you a Christian? Or what does the word Jesus mean? You're a Christian. What does the word Jesus mean? Why don't you answer my question? I'm, 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 I'm answering you. The word, no, I ask you a question. the word Jesus means Savior. Okay? He is our Savior. We can't save ourselves. It's Him. I've, I've, I've just told you. You're not listening. That's why it is. Okay, this is Matthew. We have to see it for Where is that in the Bible? We can't see it. Where, where, where is what you're saying in the Bible? This is Matthew. You see it, yeah, you're saying, see this is Matthew 1 and 21. And it says, And who shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall save his people. From, so we can't save ourselves, bro. Why? Why? Oh, boy. Uh, what's, your, what's your name, mate? What's your name? My name. Yeah. My name is... Uh, oh, you don't even know your name now? I can't remember the name. Can't remember. That's a good one. Can't remember. No, Mr. Can't remember. Have a nice day, mate. Have a nice day, yeah? No, because you're being silly. You're being silly. You're being silly. Right? You're being silly, mate. All right? No, I'm gonna forget my name. My name. What's your name? Lachama is my name. My name is Leslie. Leslie. Okay, well, Leslie, have a nice day. No, no, but it don't no. seem like this is for you. Buy a papa no, no, I'm not buying a it's papa garlic. Yeah, yeah. You should receive the knowledge I'm giving you. But this is... This, my knowledge also. What knowledge is that, brother? We you said that we can save you. ourselves. Yes. You said we can save ourselves. It's not in the Bible. So according to the Bible, you're being foolish. No, I'm not. I am not. I'm stopped. No, you're this in charge. This is Amos 9 and 8. Amos 9 and 8 says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, which is America, okay? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, so of the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from amongst all nations, like a corn is sifted in a sieve, and yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Yeah. So, in order, in, order, in order for you not to die by the sword, you have to do your best to follow the laws of God. Okay? And then even if you do do that, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get saved. Because if you're not of the elect, you still ain't going to make it. I've heard a lot of what you say, brother. I'm talking about save yourself, about arm, save yourself. I'm talking about from joy, man. You have to save yourself. This is you. I can't be for you. Right? I can't save from joy, man. That was the question. This is Luke. That is the question. I understand now. And 68. It says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Let me ask you a question. Who are, who are our enemies? Oh, boy. I'm trying to hear answers from it, right? I'm trying to teach you better. What can change us? Um, we can see it. 
can't see him. Ah, me can't see him. You have to see him yourself. This is Psalms, the 83rd chapter. This is going to tell you who your enemies is. Up. Not me, I'm going to read it out of the Bible. Psalms 83 and 1 says, Keep not thou silent. The Bible calls you a fool. I'm going to read it out of the Bible for you. Psalms 14, you look funny. Let me know that one. Because you're not listening to what I'm telling you. All right, watch this. All right, good. Take care. Have a good care. This is our enemies out of the Bible. It says, Keep not thou This is Psalms 83 and 1. It says, Keep not thou silent, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. Right? So, according to the Bible, your enemies have taken away your history. So you don't even know who the hell you are. Okay? And then, and, and then, if we read them further, it tells you who the enemies are. I'm going to read them. It says, um, sorry? Yes, three sons. Religion, religion. So that, no, the word religion, no. The word. Sorry? No, they had, no one had three sons. And all of, the, all of the people on the earth come out of those three sons. And at the time I was asking him, which son did he come out of? And he was saying there's a new Wabian. And the new Wabians believe they come from Ham. Okay? But the Israelites come from Shem. The white people and us came out the same mother and father. Why what? Why? You can't ask why. That's the Lord. He does whatever he wants to do. You're easy to control. Because the Lord separates people. He's not about bringing people together. He separates people. We read it out the Bible. According to the Bible, he doesn't want our women mixing with white people. He doesn't want our men mixing with white women. He don't want you to mix with no Chinese man or nothing like that. He would like us to stay together. But our people, a lot of them want to... They feel as if they marry a white woman is a ticket to get out of Jamaica or a better life. According to the Bible, even if you marry a white man, you're still going to be under the curses. You can't escape the curses of God. You might live for a little while, but after a while, you're going to say, nigga. You might to talk, talk, say things to you. And you're probably not going to want around him. But this is Deuteronomy 32 and 8. And it reads, When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. So the only people of God are Jacob. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 8. 32 and 8, it says, I'll read it again. When the Most High divided to the nation their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. So he didn't want us all, have you heard of the Tower of Babel? When everybody was speaking the same language and they were building that big tower, the Most High sent angels down there to confound the languages. That's why you have people speaking different languages today. Because if we were all speaking the same language, we'd all want to be like the Most High. Okay? Let me get another scripture. This is 1 Kings 8 and 53. 1 Kings 8 and 53 reads, First Kings 8 and 53 says, For thou, for thou did separate from among all the people of the earth, for thou did separate them from amongst all the people of the earth to be thine inheritance, as thou spoke by the hands of Moses, thy servant, when thou broughtest our fathers out of Egypt, O Lord God. So the Most High separated us. He doesn't want us to be mingled. You know what? Let me read this one. Matthew 25. Because when who the world called Jesus Christ comes back, that's not his name by the way. Who's gonna separate us again? This is Matthew 25. My number seven shows me right. Right. 
no problem. This is Matthews 25 and 31, and it says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divides the sheep from the goat. So when Jesus Christ comes back, Matthew 25 and 31. So you're going to come back, you're going to say, you Negroes, not you Negroes, you Israelites go over there, you Chinese people go over there, you Indian people go over there. I don't want you mingling with them. So that's what happened to um, Solomon. Solomon had so many different wives that the wives end up corrupting him. And he started building buildings for them and idols and all the rest of it. So that's why the Lord doesn't want us to be mingled up with these people. This is... Um, This is Leviticus 20 and 24. Leviticus 20 and 24 reads, But I have said unto you, you shall inherit the land, their land, and I will give it unto you for possession. A land that is flowing with milk and honey, and I am the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. So the Lord separated us, but our people want to mingle. A lot of our women want to buy white people's hair and Indian people's hair to look like them. Here's my sign. Look, here's my sign right here. Hold on. Why you Negroes want to look like your enemies? Okay? Here are. All these people bleaching their skin to look like the white woman. All of Michael Jackson. And the Bible says, do you know about Miriam? I'm going to read about Miriam in the Bible because Miriam spoke against Moses and the Mosai put a curse on her and she, she turned white. You, have you not read that in the Bible? Okay, let me read that to you. There's quite a good scripture, Numbers 12 and 22. And it says, 12 and 12, Numbers 12 and 12. I think I've got to start at 10. Numbers 12. Twelve and ten says, um, I thought at twelve, I'm going to read fast. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiop Ethiopian woman that he had married, or he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Had the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses, had not the Lord also spoken by us? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was a very meek, was, was very meek above all men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out ye free unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision. I will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall be, be shall he behold. Wherefore, when ye suffer, wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow, and Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Okay? So, these white people you see walking around, they are, they, they, they got leprosy, according to the Bible. Okay? And our people want to bleach their skin to look like white people, to look like they're leprous. Anyway, it says, And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not this sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead. So you crackers, you old people, according to the Bible, you look dead. Okay? Why would our people want to bleach their skin to look dead? And it also reads on to say, 
of whom the half of whom the flesh is half consumed when it cometh out of his mother's womb. So if you know anything about our black babies, when they're born, they come out looking white. Ooh, but after time, they get put melanin back and they start looking dark. But you got our people that want to look like they're dead. That's why the Lord said, you people are confused. You take care, sister. You people are confused, mate. Where's that confusion scripture? Let me see that one there. This is Hosea. Where is it? No, let's get this one. This is Exodus 4 and 6. Let's stick to this one topic. Exodus 4 and 6, he said, I thought one. And Moses answered and said, Behold, they, ha they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto me, unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it down on the ground. And he cast it down on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail, and put, and he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. So there you go. Moses got leprosy in his hand, okay, and Miriam got leprous all over. But our people want to prove their skin to look like the devil, the white man, okay? Because the white man is the devil, according to the Bible, okay? He is the great deceiver. I'm going to prove that quickly. Revelation. Revelation 20. And one. And it says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having a key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. If you know anything that you have got any knowledge, you have talking about Septimus Severus. Okay? And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and found him a thousand years. So that thousand years was when we ruled Europe. Yeah? We ruled Europe. That's why I told the brother that King James was a black man. Put my sign on that now. That's when the white man went around and started changing all the images of all the important people of Europe in the history to white people. Okay? So the white man is the devil, as the Bible says. But let's go back to Isaiah, which is what I really started on. Huh? Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah 58 and 1 reads, Cry aloud, swear not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. So, according to the Bible, Women should wear modest apparel. They shouldn't have these short skirts on and jeans. Let's get the jeans picture out of the Bible quickly. This is Deuteronomy. So the beautiful thing about this is, the Bible says, teach the word whether they hear or whether they forfeit. And I can see why the Lord said that. Because a lot of our people, they're going to have to get put to bed. Okay? This is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And it reads, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Okay? So I'll read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So that's wearing jeans, because jeans have got a zip at the front, and you women ain't got nothing to tell So you're wearing man's apparel. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, so you should, us men should not be wearing dresses. And a lot of you think, well, we never wear a dress before, but you have your top runner, what's his face? You say, oh, he wore a dress for money. Okay. And that's sad. Very, very sad. 
very, very sad indeed. This is Hosea 4 and 1. So a lot of our people don't really understand that the truth has been hidden from you, man. Okay? There's no 